Hello! In today's video, I will be showing you how to use the Viewmark option of Viewphoria Engine to create augmented reality apps. Viewmark was introduced by Viewphoria to help us store and use data as images like QR codes. First, you should go to library.viewphoria.com website where you can find a lot of information about Viewmark. They have mentioned how to design a Viewmark and the rules you have to follow when creating them. When creating Viewmarks, you have to use software such as Adobe Illustrator, so they provide us with a plugin that we can download as well. Like in our previous videos, we can add a Viewmark database through the Target Manager tab. First, you should open Unity and create a new scene and add an AR camera. I have configured the AR camera. I showed you how to configure an AR camera in one of our previous videos. You can watch this video by clicking on the link in the description box below. After our scene has been set up like this, you should click the plus sign in the hierarchy panel. You should add the Viewmark option from the Viewphoria engine drop-down list. After selecting Viewmark, we can see the default Viewmark that is provided with the package, which has been created according to the rules. In the default database, we can see that this Viewmark has been selected. In this way, we too can create a Viewmark. Afterwards, we can upload a Viewmark target in this way. Like I mentioned earlier, we have to design a Viewmark target. For now, I will just be using the default Viewmark that they have provided us with as the target. I will create a 3D cube as a child object under Viewmark. I will then resize it and place it so that we can see it in this way. We can now check to see if we can see this cube in augmented reality. I will select the AR camera and go to the configure section and check the type of play mode. After playing it, we will be able to see how our app works within the editor itself. I have selected webcam here and selected the external camera that has been connected to my PC as the camera device. I will now play it and show you what it looks like. You can see that when the camera is pointed at the viewmark and scanned, the cube can be seen in augmented reality. We can build this app as an APK. To build it as an APK, you should go to Files, go to Build Settings and then edit some of the player settings. You should come to Player Settings and select the Android category. The scripting backend should be changed to IL2CPP. The target architecture should be ARM64 and the minimum API level should be Android 8.0. Newer Viewphoria packages are not compatible with older Android APIs, so you should select a version like Android Oreo, which is level 26. The target API level should be automatic. You can then build it. After the building has been completed, you can install it into an Android phone and check it. I hope that you have learned something new from this video. Thank you so much for watching the video. We're so glad that you joined us on the Render Island channel today. We're always creating new content for Unity developers. So please subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one.